Hello, my name is Kim Baker and I'm President and CEO of Kentucky Performing Arts. Even though our stages are dark, we continue to bring live performance to our community. KPA at Home series showcases our region's amazing artists, connects artists with their audiences, and provides paying gigs for those performers whose lives have been impacted by COVID-19. We want to thank the Tourism Arts and Heritage Cabinet, Brown Forman Corporation, and Commonwealth Credit Union for their support and for keeping the arts alive in Kentucky. We hope you enjoy the show, we thank you, and we look forward to the day when we can be together again. Hello, I'm Joyce Barber, and uh, my pronouns are she, her, or they, them. Uh, I'd really like to thank Kentucky Performing Arts for having me tonight to represent Girls Rock Louisville. If you're not familiar with Girls Rock Louisville, we are an organization that supports girls, trans youth, regardless of identity and gender non-conforming youth through creative means. We do it in a supportive and inclusive environment. And though our focus is on rock music, we also encourage youth to explore other genres such as hip hop, electronica, and experimental, which is kind of where I fall. Um, I'm going to perform a couple of pieces for you tonight as Psychic Skin. They're relatively calming, hopefully. And uh, yeah, um, hope you appreciate it.
Thank you. Um, for those who are just joining, uh, my name is Joyce Barber. Again, I am the uh, board secretary and communications uh, committee head at Girls Rock Louisville. Uh, Girls Rock Louisville is a organization that supports girls, trans, youth, regardless of identity, and gender nonconforming youth through creative endeavors, specifically music. Uh, we have focus on rock, but we explore a lot of other kind of musical genres and artistic creation. Uh, we do so in a safe, supportive, and inclusive environment. Uh, currently, we are having our first ever online program called Rock the Internet. You can follow along and learn the basics of a lot of different instruments uh, every Tuesday and Thursday from now until May 28th. Um, it is free and you can view it on the Girls Rock Facebook page or the Girls Rock Instagram page. And again, that's every Tuesday and Thursday until May 28th at 4 p.m. Um, you know, it's beginning, uh, it's music instruction for beginners of all ages. Everyone is welcome to participate. Uh, you can find my out more on our Facebook page, Instagram page, or girlsrockglobal.org. Um, I'm going to play another piece for y'all. I really appreciate it. And uh, again, big thanks to Kentucky Performing Arts for having me and Girls Rock for asking me to represent them. Um, it's an amazing organization and I'm really, you know, privileged to be a part of it. Thank you so much.
Thank you. Um, again, I'm from Girls Rock Louisville. Um, if you haven't heard of us, please check us out. We're an amazing, we're an amazing organization. Not just saying that because I'm on the board. I love them dearly. Uh, again, thank you, Kentucky Performing Arts, for having me. It was a wonderful experience. You know, I hope everyone is staying healthy, staying at home, and finding ways to take care of themselves. And, you know, again, uh, thank you so much. And uh, yeah, um, all proceeds from the virtual tip jar are going to be donated to Girls Rock programming, such as Rock the Internet and our annual uh, summer camp, where it's a week-long camp where campers form bands, they write their own songs, they do their own merch and like think of names for their bands. And then at the end, they go to an actual recording studio and have a live concert showcasing all the work that they did during the week. We also have programming year long with different partners such as Americana Community Center and La Casita. Um, but again, please check us out. We're amazing. And uh, yeah, thank you so much. <laughs>